Hey guys, welcome back to the True Decisive Moment with me, Milos. And today we're in lovely Yokohama at CP Plus, the biggest camera trade show in all of Asia. And I brought Patrick along my boy, because I'm going to hook him up. Because he's looking for a camera, and like a lot of you out there, maybe not really sure what camera to get. There's a lot of brands here, and I'm going to go through them, go look at the booths and tell you what's what, what to get and what not to get. All right, so come on, follow me. All right, so here we are, the Sony booth. Uh, Sony got a very rich history of making VCRs, Walkmans, uh, mini discs. They were good for like a minute. And then now they make cameras too, which can technically take pictures. Um, not really a great camera kind of heritage. You know, it's kind of like the, the Kardashians of the camera world. It's, I mean, they're there, but it's, no one really cares. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to be impartial because that's that's what you want, all right? It's no, you know, it's no good just telling what I like. You got to know the truth. It, this is horrible to hold. The buttons are like, I've got no idea who designed it. It's, I don't even know what these buttons are. I mean, this is not, this is not a camera for photographers. This is like a little computer and then a lens. This is this is not something a photographer would use. I mean, if you if you just want to burn money. Just throw it away. I mean, I guess you could do that, um, or you could buy like a good camera. Let's go check out some real cameras. This is, is that just uh, rich boy toys? It's nothing. It's Sony. Yeah, it's Sony. It's great for PlayStation. It's like they're just like trying. This is so gross. No, like, dude, you can't even afford it, man. This is like you'd have to suck a million dicks. It's just forget it. This is. Look, 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 let's, go, let's go look at Olympus or somewhere else, come on, just okay. real cameras, camera show, camera time. All right. Come on, come on. All right, guys, we're here at the Canon booth. Uh, it might be hard for you to tell that because there's not many uh, cameras out. Um, I imagine they couldn't find room for them because they're just so big and bulky, it's just blah with the ridiculously large lenses for the ridiculously large cameras. Uh, I mean, these are, it's for like bird watchers, and it's like stalkers, uh, pedophiles, you know, you, got, you can't get too close to the kids. Can you don't, tell me something about the printers? I don't fucking know. I'm a photographer, I'm not a printer. Go to Kinko's dude, like, yeah, I mean, don't get a Canon, you don't have the upper body strength. It's, yeah. Yeah, uh, we're at the Nikon booth now, we like Canon, but with shittier autofocus. Uh, big and chunky, you've got your pedo lenses. Um, they've got, oh yeah, if you look to turn around, they've got the new DL there, which they're kind of towering, trying to pimp out. But they even know it's so shitty that they don't want you to touch it. It's got this tiny one inch sensor, way too small. And so they've just, they've literally, I got in trouble trying to pick it up. They're like, no, no, don't touch it, don't touch it. What are we looking at? Oh, this is nice. A piece of wood in the water. Yeah. What was uh, the inspiration? This is, well, no, no, I, I, like pretty colors, but like this stuff, this kind of landscapes, literally anywhere can take it. If you've got no life, you're happy to sit there for like an hour. It's, you can get the shot. It's nothing. It's pedophiles. What? Come on, yeah, you look at me and I look at you, come on. Oh yeah, yeah, hide your face with the camera. Very nice, yeah. Jesse, she's all right, it's a shame that she's just holding a piece of shit. You, you know, there's something kind of erotic, the way she's just kind of back and forth. Really? I think she's just kind of distracted. Yeah, but that's how girls always look like. Yeah. Yeah. Deep in the, in the jaws of a camera show, you will find the lesser spotted film camera user. Who uses film now? What's the point? 
to literally bring nothing to the table. I mean, people say it's harder to shoot a film, and it is a little bit, because digital camera is like this. Film camera is like this. So, I mean, yeah, thumbs, but. I see. Fucking laces. Fucking hipsters. Come on. So yeah, this is the uh, like the X film booth. I guess I think, I think it's Casio. It's Casio, right? Casio. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I don't really, I don't know anything about watches, but do start making balloons, and that's pretty cool. So I will wait for a balloon, then we go. go. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> we're going please. We're going please. 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 No, 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 love, 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 love. It's like seventy thousand dollars. Wow. Just a waste of money. Like, do you really think that is better than the shots that I can take? I mean, don't think too long, but it's, this, is, this is the epitome of what I hate. It's just people throwing money to make up for lack of skill, lack of ability. It's all the gear, no idea. All the gear, but no idea. Yeah, all the gear, no idea, you know. Yeah, and I mean, it does look sexy, but... That's it, just cosmetics. We're, we're better than that. That's what you need. Olympus. Olympus, baby. Come on. It's super awkward. This is that, that same thing this woman before. It's the older gear, no idea. Like this fucking guy, I don't know, he's giving me some sort of seminar or something. Like, I don't know, he doesn't know what he's doing. No one knows what he's doing. His light stands are going to fall down, it's not taped. The cables are a mess. Yeah. His name is Erwin Wong, I think. Oh, oh, yeah. Do you know him? No, this is nobody. Really? No, I don't know how. I don't know, I heard of his name somewhere. Ah, so it's one of those Twitter boys. Why don't you do a seminar here someday? I mean, I'm sure a lot of people will want to listen to you. It's political. It's all political. Alright, so here we are at the Fuji booth. I know a lot of people want me to check it out. Uh, obviously, the thing Fuji is really popular about at the moment is the X100 series, which. Um, it's like, X100 is to cameras what Kool-Aid is to American cults. I mean, there's a lot of people drinking that Kool-Aid, but that hype train is, is one I just want to kind of jump in front of. This, is, this guy is, is, on, is on the Kool-Aid. I have kind of mixed feelings about it because I actually quite like the Fuji cameras. I mean, if you have a look at them, they're, they're kind of nice. Look, beautiful retro design, kind of throwback-ish, very, very familiar to another company's cam camera. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, the colors are okay. Yeah, but it's video's crap. And then also you've got to deal with everyone else who also has the same camera, you gushing and like, oh my God, isn't it so great? That's the worst. Fanboys. Guys, we're here, we've made it. We've crawled through the fucking trenches and we've made it. When you hear the word Olympus, two things comes to mind. Cameras and the land of the gods. And this is both of them! This is like, um, you know, when, when you went to school in you know, the fucking uh, science lessons and you have like the evolutionary chart of like, you start like little single cell organisms, go into like a whatever, monkey, caveman, whatever. This is where it is. This is where it all started, baby. This is the fucking big, are you, are you fucking, look, we know. Okay, we're gonna go through it later properly, but we just go quickly for the, for the camera, guys. This is where it all started and it kind of, it just grew. And look, it's just this beautiful style. I mean, look, it, it's barely changed at all. It's just, it's classic. It's never going out of style. It's always, it's awesome. I'm so excited. Just look at it all going, this is like, if no one was here, I'd be just having my way with this whole fucking booth. It's so good. Oh my God. Okay, so come on, come on, come on, come on. So look, that, that's my little baby. That's my boy. That's my boy. He's not the newest kid on the block, but he's, he's, the, he's, he's I'm not going to say he's the best, but he's probably one of the best. He's one of the best. This is, this is a new one. This is a new one. This is a new boy. Now this is a base, a base on one of the older models there. It kind of, it was just a retro model. And they said, oh, you know, let's do it again. But let's make the insides better. Make it all new again. So sexy, man. Look at that. Look at that. This is like, 
to me, this is like porn. It's like seeing right up, like there's no there's Japanese mosaic censored shit. You're seeing straight, like right in the inside, like right in the fucking badge. Ah, oh, so good. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Come on, let's go. Right, 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 come on. I've never seen this. No, dude, oh, come on, man. We're going to be fucking Olympus, bro. <laughs> I've, I've literally been waiting all day for this. I thought I was going to blow my load early, so I thought I'll come here last. Because otherwise I'll just be absolutely spent. Look at this beautiful piece of equipment. Look at retro style. It's so sexy. So No, you're so sexy. Man, this is this would be great. This would be great if like a uh, street photography, and actually we're going to have a true decisive moment episode on street photography coming soon. Something to look forward to. Isn't this the most sexy thing you've ever seen? It's beautiful. Well, no, that's not what I asked you. Isn't it the most sexy thing you've ever seen? It is. Sexy. Look at this. Look, this retro doesn't go out of style because it's retro. So it's like, just it's, it's a classic. It's a, it's a, oh man, look at that. Okay. All right. Oh, I did, did. All right, can you get, can you get a picture of me? Sure, sure. Just, just kind of get over there and try and get like the, the thing in the back. All right. Okay. No problem. All right. Sony Alpha. No. Yeah, no, I know it is. What, why do you have it? It's my camera. No, you've got a GoPro. I have a, I have a camera too. I decided. Okay, can I, can I, can I see? This. Where, when did you get, how did you get this? I got it before I met you actually. What? You had this the whole time? Yeah, this is my primary camera actually. But, <laughs> I don't, I've been, You've been with me all day. I've been telling you what's good and what's not, and you have this fucking piece of shit the whole time. Why do you even have it? Why would you buy this? Because I I, I like really like Sony and uh, it gives really good image quality and full frame and. <laughs> so so what? You, I I literally can't believe you know. I've been telling you all this stuff about how sensors and the sensor doesn't matter, and like, you've seen the fucking shit I get with my Olympus, and you come like this fucking full frame. How do you even afford to buy this piece of shit? Oh, I save up really hard. You save, you save up. You save up from the, you go learn from the bank of daddy in China. Is that what it is? Yeah. It's a absolutely ridiculous. I just don't even know why you would even like what what even uh, to, what, why 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 would you buy this? This is like this is like well no this is like smoking for a child. This is just going to stun your growth as a photographer. Sorry, but it, I really like Olympus. Yeah, too. I know, and I thought you were going to be fucking Olympus pose with me. And yeah, you had this shit. planning to get No, yeah, great, great, great. I know the whole time you have this. Like, it's Olympus is going to be your fucking side bitch or something. This is like, this is like the worst thing you can have. Like, we've just seen so many fucking pretentious wankers here all day, walking over all the gear, no idea. And then, like, you bring this out of your pocket like it's nothing. And it's just, this is like, literally, this is like the kiss of death for you. But you have, I told you how you're going to work from the fundamentals. This is why I've been taking you around. I spend a whole fucking day with you walking around. Like, it's not, for fun. it's not fun for me. You know, I'm doing it because I like you. I want to help you grow. You know, I'm like, I'm nurturing you. I've put, I've planted my seed and I'm watering it. I'm making it grow and bloom. And this is a fucking weed. Do you garden? Yes, sir. Yeah, so you know what you do with weeds. Yeah, you take them away. All right. And like no one, no one can say that you're a, a, I'm a bad parent or a bad mentor for doing that. I'm just doing what's best for you. It, it's not about life or death. It's just about well, for the plant to survive, the weed needs to be gone. All right. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna look after this for you. All right. And then when you're ready, I'll give it back. Okay. When I'm ready. Yeah. When you're ready. Exactly. Oh, what? When you're ready to use it. I mean, like, it, this is not America. We don't give like loaded guns to children and shit. It's just serious business. Like, if you if you have this, you never gonna learn anything. You're just gonna use all the focus all the time. Rely on your fucking big sensor. And I, I can't believe to do it here. Okay, Milos. Uh, I'll work hard to. I can't be worthy of my own camera. You know, what? I'm not even angry. I'm disappointed. Just, that's fine. Guys, so we had a great day here at CP Plus in Yokohama. I know a lot of you guys aren't able to come because obviously it's very fast. So I thought I'd hook you up and 
show you what's new. Some really nice cool gear out there, some other stuff too, not so nice, but overall really, really good day. And obviously this was a kind of a special episode, kind of out of the programming. So the next episode is actually going to be about shooting on location. So definitely hope you guys tune in for that and hope you liked the episode today. As always, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and always stay hyper focal. See you next time.